All right, good morning, everyone. We're getting a little snow in International Falls. <laughs> oh, I love this. We're getting some different. This is the first uh, kind of serious looking big, bigger snowflake snow since I've been here. So I'm excited about it. I'm going out, um, starting out the morning with just a little half hour, uh, my little two mile power walk. And uh, I did learn some stuff from yesterday. I'm, uh, well, one thing was that in the forecast, is snow was starting to show up in the Tuscobia forecast. And I didn't want, I mean, the main reason I was gonna go there was just cause there was supposedly like very little snow on the trail. And I feel very confident that Tuscobia is going to have snow because we're getting a pretty good amount. I mean, you know, it keeps snowing up here. It's like a, four, but it's like a four and a half hour drive away. I don't want to, I don't want to go that far there and back. Um, my, uh, my energy's, you know, it's it's valuable to me. There's and time and there's other stuff I can be doing here, like, you know, uh, training, resting, and uh, and getting organized. <laughs> Those are all priorities, especially getting organized, getting getting, getting, getting my uh, gear dialed in. So I'll spend the time doing that. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, this is exciting. I love this. I love this snow. It's cool. So I'm going to get out there right now and get my little two-mile power walk in. All right. Hey, I forgot to tell you, I also learned a lesson from yesterday was that, um, you know, I had a pretty me and Ken had a pretty solid, you know, four hour hike out there. But towards the end, I started getting kind of tired. I was pretty tired. And uh, I didn't eat enough calories. I got a couple hundred calories in me probably out there for that four hour hike. Not, not enough at all. And uh, when you're in the cold here and uh, you know, and you're walking in snow and it's just a little more, <laughs> You need a little more, you need more calories than you do in my area that I can get away with. And plus, you know, so I, I can get away with a lot less calories in my area. And here, uh, you know, because it's, it's warmer. And so here, on top of the <clears throat> the cold in general, I think makes you burn more calories too, more, you know, fuel. You need more fuel. And so uh, I'm going to be practicing on my longer, um, my longer workouts definitely constantly grazing on food getting you know getting a getting myself organized getting a a routine down that keeps me totally fueled because that's what i ended up doing in the desert was i kept eating all the time when i did that quadruple bad i mean it was just eating you know you're just constantly grazing on food and that's what i gotta practice here look at this white snow i love it <laughs> all right first mile you know i love this two mile power walk uh the first mile was like around the 1819 that 1735 was what i was bringing it for the second mile <laughs> 1819 for that first mile pretty darn happy with that pretty darn happy with it since it's snowing like crazy right now um i just can't say enough about like the longer you can get out ahead of something like this, like this event coming up for me, um, the more comfortable I get, the more comfortable I am in the cold, the more comfortable I am in the, the uh, snow, like the footing on the trail. I'm just getting more comfortable. I'm not thinking, you know, my brain isn't going crazy. Like, what is this stuff? What's this white stuff? What's this white stuff? <laughs> it's just more comfortable. And the more relaxed you get, the faster you get, you know, the more relaxed you get, the more relaxed I am, the less energy I use, the more, you know, the more I'm going to relax, the more I'm going to get some longer strides out there, more bang for my buck and energy, you know, just, uh, I just can't say enough. I'm already, you know, this is like, I don't know how many days I've been out here, five or six days or four or five days. And, uh, and I'm getting more relaxed. This is our first really snowy day. So this is like, yeah, get out in it. When I was out with Ken yesterday on this, we did a four hour hike together, uh, the Arrowhead race director, what a great guy. And uh, he said, man, Bill, if it drops, if the temperature drops, you get out in it. <laughs> you get out in that cold. Same with like the snow, you know, it's just different conditions. You know, you just gotta keep tweaking your gear, keep tweaking your clothing for the different conditions. So um, like even in this, 
I was, you know, the wind was blowing a little bit down there and I'm coming down and the freaking snow's like blowing in my face. And I, and I thought, man, got to have that visor on the sled, got to have like a ball cap, you know, uh, so I can put my head down and that snow ain't going to hit me in the face. And I'm um, also thinking about maybe some, um, you know, like shop goggles, you know, those clear goggles, maybe I would need too. But I don't know. I, I really like the visors. There's no small, no uh, fogging up involved, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, so just keep tweaking. I'm tweaking, but I'm comfortable. I'm, com I'm getting more comfortable in International Falls, Minnesota. Now it has not yet dropped to, you know, the minus degrees yet. I think we, I think we've got as low as like four or maybe it was zero one night, but, uh, but it hasn't been like super cold like it can get. <laughs> but when it does, I'm going out there. <laughs> my buddy, the year uh, he did it um, and finished, my buddy Mike, he said that, um, you know, when it dropped up here, and he lives here, but if it dropped, you know, minus 30, you know, minus 35, He'd tell his wife, he'd say, hey, honey, I'm going out in the backyard and camping. I got to practice my gear. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'll be like walking out at midnight, throwing, uh, throwing down my sleeping bag, practicing. <laughs> Minus 20. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Let me show you this. So 17 minutes and 24 seconds for the last mile. Not bad, not bad. You know what was interesting? Was I was, uh, I was comparing my footprints, you know? So I was, I was stride right next to my ones going on the way out there and on the way back because I'm more loose, you know, getting stretchier from, you know, getting out there and going and uh, just, and more relaxed and getting a, I was getting a three to four inch further stride on the way back. And uh, that's, that's huge when you add it up over 160, 135 miles or 160 miles so that was a big deal that was a big deal that first that first hour in the first mile you're uh you're still kind of limbering up and then once you get limbered up you know once you get stretchier i get that further stride and that is a secret to going faster so you're talking in this in in a in the snow with the, the snow starting to pile up a little more on the trail all the time I went faster on the way back by like 45 seconds to a minute. All right, getting ready to head out for my my second workout. And uh, we definitely got some snow today. Look at that. Look at that fancy car I rented. And then uh, look at the ground. Anyway, it's going to be interesting on the trail. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and do an hour hike in this just to keep getting more comfortable every day, every workout, more comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable. It's huge. It's huge. And just keep trying different, you know, glove setups, different clothing setups for the different temperatures. And, uh, you know, that's why I, li I like if we, if, if before these races start, I get a variety, you know, some snow, some a little bit warmer, some freaking freezing cold <laughs> as my buddy said even if you got to go out in the middle of the night get out there <laughs> so it's kind of been uh i don't know if you can see this or not but it's been snowing all day the trail's kind of uh thick 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 with snow thick 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 so anyway so i'm doing about 20 minute mile pace which is pretty good i think i think that's good for uh, kind of kind of fluffy conditions, kind of soft conditions. Um, I'm also uh, practicing eating now this time on the trail 
and uh, doing some eating. And I have a, although I won't be wearing um, <clears throat> a backpack, I don't think I'm going to be wearing a backpack. You never know, though. I'm not planning on wearing a backpack. But just to get used to, uh, this was a suggestion that, uh, that I got, was just to get used to, you know, eating and drinking on the trail, even if you're not going very far to where you don't need it. But just keep getting used to it. So I'll, uh, you know, because you got to be quick. You got to be quick, whether you're getting it out of a sled or getting it out of your backpack. You got to be quick, because no matter what the temperature is out here, at a certain point, you start to shiver <laughs> when you stand around. So anyway, so that's what I'm working on. I'm, I'm going to grab something real quick to eat out of this pack and or, or to drink and then uh, head back. All right, hopefully you saw that. One hour, just over three miles. That's not bad, that trail was sloppy. That was a powdery trail, man. That was a powdery trail. Looking at my car, I think we got about six inches of snow today. Six inches. And uh, that was on the trail. I, you know, I try and get where the snowmobiles went, but it was all that was sloppy that was the slowest it's been since i've been here so that's great that's great i just want to keep experiencing different conditions building up the confidence right here you know when you come out here like last year i came out here i got here i don't know three or four days early it was nice the trails are firm i was building all kinds of confidence on my speed and then we get out there and I'm telling you, the only time it snowed when I was here was during the race. <laughs> it snowed all during the race. And then not only, you know, it just, it's not even the physical part, but it's the mental part. It's like, we, I haven't experienced this. I haven't had the soft trail yet. I haven't had the soft trail. You know, can I handle this? Can I handle the soft trail? And it's like all kinds of crazy thoughts go through your head. And that's why I'm here so early. And I'm hoping I get all kinds of, you know, like every condition there is. I'm out here twice a day, pretty much since I've been here, I think, for about five days. You know, I got a little, my little half hour in the morning, you know, but that's a different, different type of trail in the morning. And then I got my bigger workout in the afternoon, and which sometimes goes into the evening, which like most of the time goes into the dark because uh, it gets dark really early here. And I'm still West Coast time it's hard to get that really early start yet for me and so anyway I'm just loving all these different experiences and different trails and conditions and uh, I haven't had real cold yet but as my buddy says it gets real cold you get out there Bill you get out there when it's real cold it's the last thing you want to do but it's the first thing you got to do anyway have a, have a good evening man uh, I think this is it for me. I'm gonna go get some dinner, and then we'll we'll talk about the X chart. <laughs> Good day. Pretty happy with it. Got a new condition, some new conditions, some pretty fluffy snow out there to do some training on. So that was great. And uh, anyway, I got a new rule. <laughs> it's the constant. <laughs> Anyway, the, the main thing is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to continue having discipline, right? So I want to have some rules, right, when it comes to my eating. If I have no rules, I can go totally out of control, right? I hit my 182. I already hit my really strict weight that I wanted to hit. Now I'm just trying to stay right about there. And so I'm trying to come up with, uh, you know, just keep making rules so I have some sort of discipline, some sort of guideline to follow. Um, but I can't screw up my race either. So um, what I did was I, because uh, my coach said, no more fasting, Bill. No more fasting until you race. Um, and I think I had 10 or something. I don't know, 10 fast days because I forgot. I, yeah, I marked it here. I had another one on the 14th. And 
So anyway, what I think my rule is going to be is uh, I'm going to stick to 1,800 calories, but that's not counting what I eat during my workouts because um, I need to eat up here. You got to eat a lot in the cold. The cold. To, I, I did that four four hour walk yesterday in the snow with with uh, you know, I with my friend and. Uh, and that was rough, man. I got tired at the end because I only eat about 200 calories. It's like I need to keep grazing. It's just like what I did in Death Valley. I just kept eating and eating when I did that quadruple bad water, just constantly eating, you know, just grazing, but keep eating. And that's what I need to do up here. So I'm my 1,800 calories, because I want some sort of guideline so I don't go totally out of control, is for when I'm not working out. When I'm on the trail, I'm going to be grazing. I'm going to be eating, you know, my trail type food. Like I ate trail mix. I ate a, uh, that's all I ate. I ate, I ate like some peanuts today. And, uh, and then, you know, but I, if I go a little bit farther, I might have a bar or something, but I'm not going to count that against that total. Cause I got to get my calories up, but I want to hold discipline. If that makes sense to you guys, I hope it makes sense to you. If you have no rules, if you have no rules at all, if I have no rules, I just eat whatever, you know what I mean? I just, my calories are just, my count's gonna go way up and I'm gonna, you know. So I I need to have some rules to have some discipline. And so my rules right now that I'm trying to make work is I can eat, you know, whatever, you know, race type food or whatever I wanna eat during my workout. And when I'm not doing my workout, I'm gonna hold 1,800 calories for the day. So not counting whatever I eat during the workout will be at 1,800 calories or less. And I think that'll maintain me real close to my 182 weight. So anyway, we're looking at what I ate, not counting what I ate on the trail today. And I didn't eat that much on the trail. Um, 1725, so under the 1,800 calorie. So I get the big X. I keep the discipline going, I still got rules. And but my rules are going to work to help me finish this race, and so I'm still at, yep, yeah, still get the big X there. Mmm, I the tiger. We're still rolling on the X chart. Anyway, you guys have an awesome evening because I am. I'm going to bed. I'm starting to get on this East Coast time. I'm getting used to it. It's like, I don't know. It's not that late. I got a little bit more, a few more things to do, and then I'm going to bed. So. Getting, getting used to the time. That way I'll get up earlier. All right, everybody have a great evening.